This, in my opinion, is the ultimate travel tack trunk. Under the cover is a slightly modified, super heavy duty Husky mobile job box that was originally intended for using on construction sites. And while it wasn't originally designed to go to horse shows, it sure seems like it was. Let's go through what we did to this job site box to make it just a little better and more fit for storing tack instead of saws, as well as the features it comes with and why you'd want one for yourself. I put links in the description for every part that we used in making this trunk in case you want to go make one for yourself. Let's start from the outside and work our way in. The very outer shell is a standard tack trunk cover that we ordered and had embroidered. The link to the site is in the description. All we did was supply the dimensions, pick the fabric colors and letters for the monogram. We added Velcro to the inside of the top, which I'll explain in just a minute. Under the cover is, well, a pretty ugly looking pad that is actually a dog bed from Chewy.com. It just so happens that this dog bed is the perfect size to set on top and make a cushion. We sewed some straps onto it, added Velcro on the ends, and then sewed some Velcro on the top. As you can see, the straps just wrap around the lid and hold the cushion in place when the lid is opened. The Velcro on the cover and on the cushion hold the lid to the cushion when the trunk is open. Now before we go over the modifications we made inside the trunk, let's just talk really quickly about the trunk itself. This is a Husky 37 inch mobile job box. On its own, it kinda already looks like a tack trunk. It has wheels on one side and a pull out handle on the other side that makes it really easy to pull behind you when you're lugging the trunk around to horse shows. It also has very heavy duty latches with loops for padlocks, and it has a built-in lock and key as well. On the inside, the trunk comes with a tool caddy. Uh, this obviously makes for a great grooming box. We made one small modification to this, and I'll get to that in just a second. Now onto the inside modifications. We really only made three changes to the inside of the box just to make it a little better. First, we got two cargo pouches with elastic loops on the top and bottom. It took a little planning, but we attached these pouches to the inside of the lid by strategically drilling holes in the lid reinforcement, then sandwiching the loops between the plastic and some washers uh, with a few nuts and bolts. Overall, it probably took an hour to get it all set up. Second, we just put a simple stick-up light on the inside to make it a little easier to see in the dark. Finally, a carefully crafted piece of cedar was used to make a divider in the grooming box. The box comes with shallow slots that fit a three quarter inch piece of wood. As a bonus, it also makes the trunk smell a little bit better when it's baking in the heat. Overall, we've been using this trunk for traveling to horse shows for over three years now, and it's held up great. If you have any questions, feel free to ask in the comments. Thanks.